Hello there, welcome or welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Samantha and this is my channel where I talk all about books. Anyway, today I'm coming to you with a very exciting video. This is actually probably one of my favorite videos that I've done in a really long time because in today's video, we're going book shopping. I recently went book shopping with my friend Evie, who I went to university with, and now we actually both work at the same library, although she is a librarian and I'm a library assistant, so our jobs are a bit different, but we do get to see each other quite frequently at work, which is amazing. Anyway, but recently we were both off on the same day and we decided to go book shopping and I decided to vlog it because I thought, why not? And I'm so happy with how this vlog turned out. So I'm really excited for you guys to watch it. But yeah, I'm basically just going to show you around some bookstores in London. And then afterwards, we're going to haul the books that we bought. But after all of the vlog segment is done, I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to rate all of the bookstores and let you know what I really thought about them because we didn't do that in the vlog and I think we should have. Anyway, I'm just going to insert like wonderful clips of our book shopping adventure and then I will come back to you and rank those bookstores. <laughs> It's books backwards. No, I didn't. <laughs> Hello, this is my friend Evie. We've just been book shopping all day, well, all afternoon. Well, I bought a lot more books than you did. Yes, but I want to go back and buy more. <laughs> Samantha's like, but can we go back? I'm like, I'm, yes, we'll I'm get so, the bus, we'll go, it's fine. There was just one book that I picked up and was in my pile to buy. Well, no, I had three that I put back, but there was one in particular which is just calling my name and I feel I'm like- I'm also she... the devil's advocate because I've read this book and it's amazing and I love it. So I, want, I also want you to buy it. So it's like it's very tempting to go back and buy it. Anyway, we'll show you what books we got. Then we might go back shopping. I don't know. Okay, so first we went to Waterstones. I picked up She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. Because I've had this book on my TBR for like since 2021 actually. I checked out Goodreads because I was thinking like, I think I have this is on my TBR. I wanted to know if it was YA or, or adult. And it's adult, I think. And the first book in a series, which they say is historical fiction and fantasy. Set in China in the very excited about it. Love the cover. So that was the first book I got. I was very good actually. I only got three books. And then the other two were non-fiction because I feel like non-fiction is like harder to mix up potentially than fiction. I don't know which one to start with. I'm so excited about both of them. So I picked up Mother Tongue, The Surprising History of Women's Words by Jenny Nettle, which I've recently heard about. I can't remember what, but this is definitely already on my goodies TBR. But yeah, I almost didn't get this, but it was just calling my name. It was right by word slot. It was just meant to be. And then probably like the funniest, weirdest, randomest purchase is another book that's been on my TBR for like a year. And so it's been, it's definitely been on my radar, but it's just so silly. Anyway, it's called Butts, a backstory, and it's all about like butts. <laughs> and like why people are so like drawn to butts, why there's so much talk about butts and all that stuff. I literally didn't realise that it was actually about butts. I'm yeah. so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. I'm borrowing this from you. Yeah, I just think it sounds like so silly, but also fun and like probably also like important. 
Like, why are we so obsessed with butts? So Alex is an asshole, so. <laughs> why is he so obsessed with my butt? Who knows? But anyway, that's my little poll. Just three books. I'm very proud of myself. Can you hold them up for us so yeah. we can see them all? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> For those of you who've literally got no idea who the hell I am, I'm Evie, Samantha's friend. I bought like way more books than Samantha. I was not anywhere near as restrained. The first one that I bought is Even Silence Has an End by Ingrid Betancourt. And it's about her six years of captivity in the Colombian jungle. I've heard amazing things about this book. So it's like a memoir of her experiences. And I'm always fascinated by Latin American history because like Samantha, it's where we met. I studied Latin America in at university. So I'm really excited about that one. The next one I got from Gaze the World, we just went to, and I got this. They gave me, because I bought so many books, they gave me a bookmark as well. Wonderful. Very nice. But this is the love letters between Virginia Woolf and Vita Sackville West. And I've heard really good things about this. I'm also a massive Virginia Woolf fan. I love Mrs. Dalloway. I love A Room for One's Own to the lighthouse as well. I don't really know anything about Vita Sackville West, but I'm really excited to discover more about their relationship and also about like about Vita as well. So I'm really excited to read that. It's also just pretty. It is gorgeous, isn't it? And you've got a lot of purple and pink going, know, so it's, it's nice. There's a real colour aesthetic there, isn't there? This has been on my list forever. So I got this from Waterstones. This is a selection of poems. It's called How to Cure a Ghost by Fariha Roshin. I might be pronouncing that name completely wrong, but this has been on my list forever. It's also gorgeous and like in Inside, it's all different coloured pages and stuff as well. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. So this I also got from Gaze the Word, and I was like going towards the counter with just two books. And I ended up picking up this one and this one from like the last minute selection. So I ended up with double the amount of books. Never mind. So this is a hundred queer poems. There's loads of poets in here that I know I love, like Jackie Kay, Caroline Duffy. So I'm excited for that one. Classic romance been on my list forever and I've read other books by Lucy Sport and I love them. Talia Hibbert. Samantha got me into Talia Hibbert so I love the Brown Sisters trilogy and I haven't seen this anywhere else so I was very excited when I saw this in foils. I didn't know that I got you into the... Yeah? Oh. It was you that told me to read them. I forgot. And then this one I've heard is also really good. Not a Brown Sisters one but The Roommate Risk is supposed to be... Really oh I love A Close Proximity. I didn't even realise. I might have to borrow that oh, actually I at some point. I love A Close Proximity. Oh my god. I think it, it, it might be one of my favourite tropes. Yeah, I think me too actually. I also do love like best friend's brother. No, oh, brother's yeah. best friend. Oh yeah. And enemies to lovers. Yes, can't go wrong with it. Yeah. But I love a friends to lovers as well actually. If it's done well. Mm, yeah. It can be done really badly when you're just kind of like, what and the fuck? Like, they're both pining after each other and neither of them know. I hate yeah. that. I prefer it when it's like, when it's single point of view and yes. like you know that one of them is but you're not sure about yeah. the other yeah. and then yeah. Yep. That's my, what I'm, I prefer, yeah. This one is called In Deeper Waters, and it's a YA by F.T. Lupins. I don't know very much about this, but Samantha said it was pirates and a love story, a gay love story. So this is also from Days of the World. How gorgeous is that cover? Like, ridiculously aesthetic. And I'm a children's librarian, so I'm always looking for new young adult books to read and to basically recommend to our libraries. And then the last one, another pinky book. So this is Something Wild and Wonderful by Anita. To Kelly and again this gives me something wilder by Christina Lauren vibes but it's a gay love story so I'm very excited to read it. I don't know what I'm gonna read first actually in fact I don't even know if I'm gonna carry all this <laughs> makes me sad that I didn't buy more So I hope you enjoyed that little vlog segment as much as I enjoyed experiencing that and editing it. I had a lot of fun with this vlog. Anyway, we're back to talk about my rankings for those bookstores. So the first one that we went to was Waterstones Piccadilly and this one is just an absolute classic. I feel like a lot of people recommend this and if you do come to London and you do like to bookshop, this one is a really good one to go to because it has pretty much everything. Actually though, there was one book that I was after and I couldn't find it anywhere, which was kind of a shame, but whatever. It is a poetry collection. I think it's independently published, so that might be why. But yes, Waterstones Piccadilly does have pretty much anything you're looking for. And so for that, 
it's amazing. It also has some beautiful collector's editions and special editions. So if you're after something very specific, that's great. And they also have a lot of book signings there. So you can often find signed copies. I love Waterstones Piccadilly. And also it's quite nostalgic for me because I used to go quite a bit when I was a teenager. I would go to book signings with my friends and we would have such a good time. I really love Waterstones Piccadilly personally. However, I would say you have to go in with a plan because otherwise it can be a bit overwhelming because there is just so much everywhere. I really love Waterstones Piccadilly and I think I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. It's great, it has a bar and a cafe and you could easily spend a whole day there. It's got so many floors, I would highly recommend that you visit Waterstones Piccadilly. The next one that we went to was Foils Charing Cross. I think this is like the biggest foils and I had actually never been before. I've been to other foils, but not the one in Charing Cross. I really enjoyed foils. I actually think I might prefer foils to Waterstones. I just think that it was a little bit less overwhelming they still had loads of choice and it was still a massive place, but I feel like it was just a little bit calmer than Waterstones Piccadilly. Maybe because it's not like Piccadilly, like it's Charing Cross, which is a little bit quieter. So maybe that's why. I don't know. But it just, to me, felt a little bit more calm. They had a great selection and I actually found five books at Foils that I wanted to pick up, but I only bought two because I'm being restrained. But yeah, they had so many great options and I would definitely recommend foils. I'm gonna keep Waterstones at an eight out of 10, but I'm going to give foils a seven out of 10. It had a much calmer vibe. I do still think I prefer Waterstones Piccadilly. Next we went to Scoob and I didn't actually film anything inside of Scoob. It's a very small used bookstore. It's quite quirky, it's in a basement and it's quite cool. Although I would say that it was not my favorite. I felt like their stock was a little bit outdated. Like I don't think you're gonna find a great new release. Obviously. Not not brand new but like even something from like last year I don't think you're gonna find it at Scoob and even when you do their used paperbacks are still five pounds which to me is kind of ridiculous when a full price paperback is like what $8.99 and some of them were like not in good condition at all and were still five pounds for me I just thought it was a little bit overpriced and I didn't think they had the best selection so I would probably give them a five out of ten that's not to say I won't go back but it just wasn't my favorite and then the last one that we went to what I also didn't film inside of it because it was just way too busy but that was gaze the word and I really liked this one all of their stock is queer and they had so many great books as you saw Evie found so many great books there that she was really excited about. I also did, but I was really trying not to buy any more books. So yeah, I didn't actually buy anything there, but I definitely will in the future. I really liked this one. The only thing I will say is that it did feel a little bit cramped, but I think it was just because it must have just been a busy time of day. So I would give them seven out of 10 as well. So out of the bookshops, my least favorite was Scoob Books, unfortunately. And then Foils and Gaze the Word were tied and the winner was Water Sense Piccadilly. It just has a piece of my heart. What can I say? I've had so many good times there. So I think it's always gonna win for me. Although we might actually do a round two. So definitely let me know if you wanna see a part two to this video. There were quite a few bookshops that I found that we wanted to go to, but some of them weren't really in the right area because we kind of wanted to stick to like that sort of area. So yeah, we definitely wanna do this again. So let me know if you'd wanna see a part two of this video and I will be happy to make that for you. Any excuse to buy books. But yes, that is all that I have for this video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe down below. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, please leave me a stack of books for Evie's ridiculous pile of books. I'm just kidding. No shade, Evie. Eight books is a perfectly acceptable number to buy. But yes, please leave a stack of books because we hauled some books in this video. But yes, that is all that I have. So I'll see you very soon with another one. Bye. Are you at focus? Yes, I think you're focusing. <laughs> oh dear. And then we'll talk about you. Well, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this was one that I'm gonna wait. Yeah. Can people stop dying, please? Any yeah. <laughs> crimes? <laughs> it is brush hour. Lots of car noises. So rude. Drive quieter. Uh, what is the book we use? Gaze the word. Gaze the word, yeah. <laughs>